When you are one off the lead and have a football game to catch down the road in Athens, Georgia. Hey, there goes there Kevin, goes Kevin Kisner. Kisner right there. See you, buddy. There he goes. Bye bye. That's right, Georgia Bulldog Kevin Kisner had himself a day shooting the low score, a 64 on Saturday, which just so happens to be game day. Kiz tweeted out on Friday night that he was looking for a ride to the Georgia game after his round Saturday. Little did he know he'd do this. Nearly holing out on the third to set up his second straight birdie. Oh, look at that. Oh, how about that? Then actually holding one on the 14th from off the green for a tie of the lead. And that's a beautiful little chip from Kevin Kisner. Tied for the lead. How about that? When you do that, you get to leave the course in style. Right, Kiz? Not something you see every day, but Paul Casey atop the leaderboard at the Tour Championship sure is. The 36th and 54 hole leader shot a 65 to take the solo lead on moving day. In his previous three appearances here at Eastlake, he has finished no worse than the top five, and this is why. That'll be a 40 footer coming in on 17 to take the solo lead, please. Trying to get oh, the speed right. Yeah. But sometimes they go in when the speed's right. Or you could be like the FedEx Cup number one and drop 75 foot par saves like it's no big deal. Struggling with his game, but a beautiful save. Eight strokes back, Spee says he doesn't feel like he's far off from getting everything in line for Sunday. Someone who does have it all together and make him quite the case for Rookie of the Year. Xander Shoffley drained a 20-foot eagle on six and route to his 10 under par. But sometimes you have to get a little crafty. Yep, that's Justin Thomas hitting left-handed and nope, he's not left-handed. The FedEx Cup number two is five strokes back. So is Brooks Kepka, who muscled up for this 340 yard blast on 14 for the longest drive. Let's see where this one goes. Oh, yep. Right through him. <laughs> yeah, that's right through it, right down the middle and about, wow, that's gotta be out there. 330, uh, 339. It all comes down to this. Only one more day of the 2016-17 season is left. So catch all the action from the season finale starting at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday on PGA Tour Live. I'll see you there and on Monday for a recap of what's trending off the course in Trending on Tour.